Hello everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is how to add background color to text in Canva. Well, let's get started! Okay, first we're gonna have to add a text so that we'll, we're gonna have something to work on. <laughs> so say for example this one. Let's pretend this is our text. So one way you can easily add a background color to it is by, of course, selecting it or by clicking on it and then go to the effects button right over here and find background, this one. And there you go. You finally added a background color to your text. But if you want to tweak it, then tweak it as you would. You can adjust its roundness. So the lesser the value that you put here, the sharper the edges will be. But the higher the value, the rounder the edges will be. And for the spread, that's what it does. And for the transparency, you can also adjust it. And for the color, you can change the color over here by clicking this button. And this will pop up. So you can scroll down and select default colors, or you can also create or pick um, a color for yourself by clicking this button. And by doing so, you can choose whatever color you prefer. Just like that. Okay, let's talk about another way you can also add a background color to your text. So we're going to add another text here. By the way, if you want to know how I made that text box appear, I just clicked, I mean pressed T on my keyboard. So press T on your keyboard to automatically add a text box. Okay, we're going to try it another way. So say, for example, this is our text. In order for you to add a background color to it, we're going to go to the element section. Or you can also just simply press R on your keyboard and this rectangle or square will appear. You can adjust its size to make it fit depending on the text you have here. And yeah, just like any other element, you can also change its color. So you can press this button over here and select any colors you want. The thing that's good about this method is that you can also use gradient colors on it, not just plain colors. Like that. And in case you'd like to change the uh, colors within your gradient, you can go back up and click on this button right here and this will appear. So choose one from those two colors and then change it to a specific color that you like. That one for example. And apart from this shape, you can also find more on the element section. Just click on shape over here. See all. And if you'd like the uh, if you'd like to use the rounder version of this, you can use this one instead. And we're going to apply the same style. So I'm going to click on this rectangle over here and this button. Copy style. Paste it here. I'm going to duplicate the text and put hello. Oh, unfortunately, I think it changed our... We're going to do that again. It changed our shape. So we're going to have to manually put a gradient here. So here it is. Yeah, and those are several ways you can put a background color to a text right here in Canva. Okay, so I'm just simply going to create a design using this method. And if you'd like to stick around to see my process and to see how it's going to turn out, then feel free to keep watching. I'm going to 
uh, try to create a workbook right here. So I'm going to put here chapter one. And I'm going to turn it to bold. I'm going to adjust its spread. And I think that should be fine. And now I'm going to add another text box. I'm going to press T. And I'm going to add number one here and align it to the left. I'm going to put here activity. Oh, I'm going to turn off the bold setting. Um, perhaps we could change it. And I'm going to add this one. Perhaps we could make this a bit smaller. And make sure it's properly aligned. And we're going to change this to the same color as this one. So to do that, I don't think that color is saved over here. So we're going to click on this and choose this color picker tool and there and i'm gonna copy it again but this time i'm gonna i'm gonna turn it to white and i'm gonna zoom in to be able to see better okay and i'm going to highlight these and duplicate it put it over here And this would be number two. And perhaps we could do it like that. And make the answer sheets a bit bigger. Okay, and it's time for us to add a page number. So I'm going to delete everything and put number one here. But make sure that we don't bold it. We're going to align it to the middle and there. Okay, that should do it. So yeah, just a very simple example. <laughs> and that's how we can use this method or this technique. And that's it for now. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. And we hope to see you in the next video.